Good morning, folks. Things are calm right now on our star, but that is not expected to be the case across space weather by next week. And it certainly does not describe the weather here at Earth. We're going to run down both of those and look at some news as well. But first, as always, let's take a look at the last day on our star over at spaceweathernews.com and see a good deal of nada. No flares or CMEs, and even the bright areas on the left that look like incoming sunspots are really just not presenting that much. Departing spots will leave us almost blank here soon. Since the sunspots make the flares, this is no surprise, all calm in the X-ray spectrum. Solar wind here showing continuing above average streams from the coronal hole. Waning now though, an earth shield handled this one just fine with Karuna noting only a brief level 1 disruption yesterday. That should change as this coronal hole should deliver its solar wind near the end of the weekend or next week. It is going to face Earth tonight, so we'll have an eye open for more seismicity as well, especially with Saturn and Venus both trying to line up with us in the Sun. Top news article is this, the first images and data from New Star on the hard X-ray spectrum of the Sun. Not what I'd call a novice level manuscript, but I know some of you were as excited for New Star as I was. Let's kick off the weather with white high pressure surrounding the purple low in the North Atlantic and driving a wind pull pattern towards the tropics and then back to the west. This is driving Saharan dust significantly westward. Big push there. Remember that those deposits strongly affect oceanic chemistry and the ocean atmospheric dynamics. Hurricane centers are watching a low south of Mexico that is expected to gain strength, get a name, and then go right into the middle of nowhere. In Texas, the atrocious flooding continues with multiple people dead and the record-breaking crest of one river outpaced the estimations, which already predicted breaking the old record by three feet. Feet. They've got more coming tonight. The systems are stuck here, folks, just dropping the convergence down the same line over and over, and it's pulling from the Gulf right now which is loving to get her top layers off and send them to the north. Eyes open for more tonight. On Windy TY, the high pressure is red. Lows are still purple. Now watch how the high separates the systems crossing the northern waters. Gives the west coasts a bit of a break today. Unfortunately, it's Germany that needs it. Got another strong high here, settled between and south of Australia and New Zealand. Watch how that one clears a little bubble there amidst the clouds and rain. And last but not least, folks, another flood warning if you happen to be near that low in eastern South America, driving a lot of tropical moisture that way, especially from that which is already cupped by the Andes. Final note, the corona hole facing Earth now is what drove the level 3 magnetic storm last month. We'll see how the power maintained itself during its trek across the far side. It's 3.45 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone. Thank <laughs> you.